I don't know if y'all heard this in my community section, but you know what? I'm going to say it right here one more time. Caitlin Clark is the greatest thing that happened to the WNBA in a long time. She is their savior. And you know what? There's going to be a second coming. You know who's going to be the second coming of the WNBA? The star? Oppression. I guess that's what you're going to call it. Now, we're going to get into this conversation because this is going to be a conversation that's going to be a little bit uneasy for some of y'all. Caitlin Clark is the face of the WNBA point blank period. <clears throat> like the video. Everybody should just fall in line and be happy with that. But you know what? Being that this league is predominantly black, being that this league is predominantly lesbian, or should I just say LGBT because I don't know what area in that whole mixture they fall into but let's just be honest about something why are you thinking that this woman is just going to bow down and become subservient to you guys it's not gonna happen like the woman come there to play basketball but the fact that she's white and the fact that she's straight this is the issue oh, wait hold on one second if you have not subscribed to the channel by now what are you doing sub up and make sure that you watch this video all the way through to the very end people are trying to make this all types of different things like i said they're trying to go the racial route they're trying to go the sexist route none of that stuff even matters honestly like yeah these women may feel that way and that's probably why they going on the offense against her and i'm not even talking about with the ball they're going on the offense by attacking her but you know what that's basketball they have something called a flagrant foul for that. So get her off the ground. Go ahead, Caitlin. Just go ahead and get up. Go ahead and knock down your two free throws. Or if it's a three-pointer, go ahead and knock down your three free throws and keep it moving. The truth is she's probably going to end up hurt. I mean, like some type of minor injury, maybe even a serious injury, depending upon how they want to give her a foul. Man, these women are going to throw away everything. They are going to throw away everything because the face of women's basketball is not one of their own. Now, of course, we're talking about the majority. We're not talking about all of them. But they all should just fall in line and enjoy this gravy train because Caitlin Clark is actually the one who you might as well say gave them the opportunity to fly charter jets. You know what? We might as well say Caitlin Clark is the reason why we even know half of their names. I don't even know probably five players. I can't even name five actually. And that's and that's really ridiculous. The only time I actually get an opportunity to learn about a new player is when it has something to do with Caitlin Clark. Yeah, like that's the only reason why I even see any of that information in my feed. It's pretty ridiculous that the angle that some people take, like I say, this whole racist thing, what? Because black people for eons, you know, they've been begging for reparations and the whole thing about blacks actually feeling like, you know what, their oppressors are the white people. They are 100% wrong. Not in 2024. I ain't saying everything is perfect. But the truth is, you think that it's a racial issue because... Some people who are not accustomed with her being in the spotlight, being that she hasn't even been in the league for f six months, they're bitter, so they playing rough basketball. That's all this is. This is just rough basketball. That's all it is, just rough basketball. You know what? If it's too rough, foul. If it's more rough, flagrant foul. If it's worse than that, then just go ahead and kick them out of the game. And if you got to put them on suspension and you got to start tapping into their low salary with fines, then do it. You know what? There ain't really nothing to be complaining about. Basketball is a rough sport. Look at the guys. You know, yeah, this ain't the 90s or nothing like that. This ain't the early 2000s. You know, we're in 2024, so the basketball is a little bit soft. But suck it up suck it up it's that simple oh man i just can't get all i can't get jiggy with the fact that people are gonna say racist and i definitely can't get jiggy with the fact that 
people are sitting around here talking about it's because of her sex. Um, she's not into you. And if she's not into you, why you, why you bitter about that? The truth is, like I said, it ain't got nothing to do with race. It got absolutely nothing to do about sex. It has nothing to do with that. The fact that they're on two different side of the, sides of the spectrum, it means basically little to nothing. The truth is, these women are willing to damage the face of women's basketball. Just imagine. LeBron, LeBron is not on Jordan's level, so we're just going to use a Jordan comparison. You know, Kobe's not here with us no more, so we're just going to use a Jordan comparison. So if the NBA went around just beating up on the court I'm talking about roughing up Michael Jordan caused him to get injured and destroyed his career basketball will probably still be thriving because it's way more interesting than the WNBA but I'm pretty sure it would have been a large unsettling place for the for the NBA to be in by the face of the W I mean the face of the NBA actually being hurt or actually out of the league because of dudes who were just playing rough basketball. That's why they have those measures in place to protect the players. But we're talking about WNBA. WNBA, if these players actually cause Caitlin Clark to actually get injured, out for the season, out for next season, you know what I mean? Depending upon the type of injury, they will destroy what's left for women's basketball. Like I said, I don't know if y'all heard this in my community section, but you know what? I'm gonna say it right here one more time. Caitlin Clark is the greatest thing that happened to the WNBA in a long time. She is their savior. And you know what? There's gonna be a second coming. You know who's gonna be the second coming of the WNBA, the star? Transgenders. Transgen Transgender's gonna bring dunking. They gonna bring a lot of excitement. I ain't here for it. I'm not here for it. But when it happens, that's when the WNBA will actually be catapulted even higher than it is now. And if these women don't act right, they're going to destroy that upward incline that, Clay, that Caitlin Clark is actually allowing them to catapult on. So like I said, it's just going to be like a rocket booster in the, in the, uh, in the incline of the WNBA once the transgenders come. You heard it here first. Like the video, share the video, and stay tapped into the channel because I have more content coming out soon.